All right, so kind of off topic, but I wanted to chat a little bit about my weight loss journey. I have been talking to you guys a little bit about here about it here on my channel, um, but most of my like weight loss content is going to be found over on TikTok. My TikTok is solely dedicated to my keto and low carb recipes and all of my like weight loss updates, etc. So if you guys want to follow along on my weight loss journey, be sure you're following me over on TikTok. I have it linked down below for you. I also do a lot of updates over on Instagram. You can find like a lot of behind the scenes stuff, like my day to day. I like do like quote unquote daily vlogs like on my Instagram stories and share reels in regards to my like keto recipes, but TikTok, you can have longer videos. So I do more over on that platform, but just wanted to mention that because as I was editing this video, I noticed that this sweater does me no good at all. This, like I love oversized sweatshirts and sweaters. All I wear are oversized clothes, but this is the most unflattering thing I think that I've ever worn since I've lost my weight, just because it doesn't like, I have a very curvy body shape and I'm proud of it. I've got hips, this mama's got some hips, and I this sweater just does me no good. And it like flares out on the bottom. It just, it makes me look frumpy. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about the weight loss a little bit because I know that I'm going to be getting some questions on that, especially if you guys are new to my channel, joining me from TikTok or Instagram um, from those keto slash low carb slash weight loss videos. So anyway, just wanted to chat about that really quick. And again, if you wanna follow me on my journey, head on over to my other socials and I, I'm here for you if you are on your own journey. I understand how hard it is, especially with being a mom and giving that attention to yourself to lose that weight can be very hard when you are giving your attention to everybody else at all times. So I'm here for you, mama, you got this. Let me know in the comments down below, what are your goals for this year? Are you wanting to lose some of that weight? Are you wanting to de-stress a little bit? Are you wanting to reorganize the home? Financial freedom, what are you looking forward to for smashing your goals in 2021?
All right, I'm about to hit you guys with the easiest, most delicious roast recipe ever. You can do this in the Instant Pot or the Crock Pot, which I know my Instant Pot is also a slow cooker, but I've never used it like that, so I don't know, I'm, I'm weird. Anyways, you're gonna take a chuck roast and then you're going to season it with the dry Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning, au jus gravy sauce, or just regular brown gravy sauce, minced onion, and also some garlic powder, and then I just do like a little bit of water in the bottom and boom, it is so good. And here I'm just doing some homemade ranch. Now, I'm doing this with mayo and milk like the back of the package says, but, but, I think that it like, I don't know, sometimes it gets like a little bit weird of a taste. I prefer homemade mayo, which is so easy. All you do is you take an egg and oil and you emulsify it, so easy. I do have a recipe over on another video. If you guys are interested, just search in secret ranch recipe in my videos and it will come up. Um, now this one, I used some Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. I added a little bit of red wine vinegar to give it more of a tang. I like runnier ranch, so I added some water to it actually, which I plan to use this ranch up in the next few days between the kids and my salads, etc. I also added some garlic powder, parsley, and dill. That is how I like to kind of like spice up my ranch. It's so good. Also added a little bit of black pepper because I add pepper to everything and I'm a hot mess and I spill everywhere, don't judge me. But this ranch is super good, whether you do the mayo with milk base or my homemade mayo and coconut milk ranch recipe, which is dairy free and is, that one's my favorite, but they're, they're both really good. So I'm not judging a ranch, okay? Actually, I take that back. I judge a ranch by its runniness, but here is the roast all finished up. I put it on high for about five hours and it is completely pulling apart. Just, you see how tender it is? My kids devoured it, it is so good. All right guys, I'm gonna leave you there for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in a couple days for part two to the cleaning and organizing series, okay? Bye guys.